McDonald's Corp is being sued by 52 black former franchise owners who say the company racially discriminated against them. They accuse McDonald's of steering them to depressed, crime-ridden neighborhoods, setting them up for failure, and are seeking up to $1 billion in damages in the federal court in Chicago. In a phone interview with Reuters, the plaintiff's lawyer, Jim Ferrero, said, quote, it's systematic placement in substandard locations because they're black. Adding, revenue at McDonald's is governed by one thing, location. The accusers say they were saddled with standard 20-year franchise agreements at stores that needed high security and insurance, with sales coming in below the national average. Many venues became bankrupt. McDonald's denies treating black franchises differently and new CEO Chris Kemzinski said in a video to employees that the company stands for diversity, equity and inclusion. But that our franchisee ranks should and must more closely reflect the increasingly diverse composition of this country and the world. McDonald's US restaurants are run by around 1,600 franchises. The plaintiff's lawyer, Ferrero, says the number of black-owned franchises has fallen in the last two decades, from 377 to 186.